Hi, welcome to Tantalus Oracle. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm coming to do a reading on Taylor Casey. She's 41 years old. She's missing in the Bahamas, if you haven't heard from, about her, but she's missing out of the Bahamas. She went on a yoga retreat. Um, they found her cell phone in the ocean, in the water. Um, but uh, somebody asked me to do the do her reading, so I'm going to do it. Um, but anyway, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, to the video. Um, but I know nobody not going to want to hear this, what I'm about to say, but this is what I'm getting from her. Um, she did this to herself because I'm picking up a lot of emotional things going on with her. Um, a lot of things that she hid. Now people say, oh, she, she would have never done that. She was a happy go lucky person, but just look at what's his name? Robin Williams. Okay. So a lot of that is their way of uh, helping themselves to deal with what they're dealing through or to, to hide it, okay? Because she's hiding a lot of trauma, emotional things, okay? And it's all about how she felt about herself um, because I'm getting, as she was dealing, whatever internally that she was dealing with, whether anybody knew about it or not, because I'm feeling that she got a lot of sorrow. It's a lot of things in her shadow that she's um, dealing with, how she feels about herself. She could have been depressed, um, but I'm just getting that she did this to herself. It's all around her. And then even pulling cards, I got um, suicide being, you know, that un being un unalive in yourself. I'm getting that. And then um, that Sagittarius, which is all about death. Okay. That's what I'm getting from her is that she did this to herself. And I may not want to hear that, may not want to believe that, but that is what I'm picking up all around her. A lot of trauma, self-esteem issues, depression, emotional trauma, um, whatever, whatever the situation is, that's what I'm picking up. Um, but, and also it's like, she drowned. That's what I'm getting, the breathing, okay? Because she held a lot of stuff within her, um, but I got a lot of things being held in because everything that's coming up is about something about how you hold stuff in and then you're breathing, okay? So that's what I'm getting from her. So I'm going to pull some cards. See what comes out on her. Taylor Casey. Okay, so these cards flipped over, but I'm gonna put these back in. And this is just saying um a male um Deadly encounter, somebody you trust and you feeling restricted. Now, deadly encounter or setup. Okay. Now, this could be that somebody that she dealt with in the past could have traumatized her in some type of way and she couldn't let something go. So that encounter with that person kind of triggered her. I don't necessarily think that somebody did something to her. Yeah. But it could have been, let's just say you you already dealing with some things internally and then you meet somebody and you think that person care about you. And then you come to find out that that person doesn't really care about you like they say they care about you. And then that spirals you down further into your depression or how you feel about yourself. OK, because here I'm getting someone that she was committed to it sometime. There's some regrets behind that because of how that person was. That person could have been a selfish type of person only thinking about themselves. It's very self-absorbed. And then I have a fading relationship here or sickness, illness, or disease. That could be that depression that she had. And then here, this is something that you secretly admire. 
Okay, so you could have really cared for somebody and really liked something about somebody. And like I said, you could have been a person. She could have been a person that was admired because I heard all good things about her and how helpful she was. And that could, I'm not saying that she wasn't that person. She could have been an admired person, but that doesn't mean anything about how you feel about yourself because people can tell you whatever, but if you don't see it within yourself, then it doesn't really matter. It's a lot of secret chaos that's coming back from a relationship, something that someone or something that she was committed to. There's a lot of chaos and secrets behind this. So there's some things that was hidden. Like I said, she could have hidden the chaos that she had within herself that stemmed from probably a previous relationship or a current. I don't know what her relationship status is, was. Um, but there's some secrets and secret things that she's dealing with internally that caused her to feel the way that she feels. Some regrets for friends and boyfriends. Okay, husband, I don't know if she was ever married. But she has some regrets or there's some regrets from some friends that she may have had and some a male that she dealt with. Like I said, this already came out the first time, but it's like it's some regrets behind it. So you you regret dealing with somebody. You regret the situation. You don't like how some things played out. Fading relationship. Also um, sickness, illness or disease. OK, something going on from that. OK. But there's, like I said, some hidden chaos, some things that's within her that she keeps secret, that's chaotic within, chaotic in her emotions, in her mind, and it's from her relationships. Love, too, because I'm getting that as well. It's like she may have been let down and hurt a lot in her love situations or by people that she loved. Or it could just been hurt deeply. Because, like I said, she it's already how she feel about herself. She may have low self-esteem. You may not notice that because sometimes people with low self-esteem be all loud and grand or grandiose. And then that's the hot, the fact that they have low self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Someone from her past, she's just trying to heal from something. She's trying to figure out how she's going to get over something. Well, whoever this person was, like a narcissistic person, somebody only think about themselves. It's like somebody she dealt with in her past or somebody she knows dealing with in some type of way. She was trying to get over that or she was trying to heal. She, she was trying to figure out how she's going to move past that situation with that person. So here is somebody that's guarded from people that care about you. So you you you're guarding yourself from them. So that means you're you are keeping some things because you're afraid of what they may say or do or act. So it's like you in fear of people that showing you compassion or so because this is somebody that you admire. So you may hide things from them because you don't want to. You have a fear of maybe losing the people that you do have are hurting the people that you are surrounding that is there for you, I should say. So this is like somebody in fear of the people that's there for you, that support, or maybe you didn't want that support. Okay. Because I have somebody that's, that you admire someone or something that's admired, but they have people that's supporting them, but they're in fear. So that means you don't want these people to know what you are, what you have going on. You in fear of that. You don't want people to see that. Maybe you want people to see you in a certain type of way. So you are in fear of the people that is close to you. Not saying that they're going to do something, but it's like, I don't, I don't want to hurt them or I don't want them to know this. I don't want them to know that I'm dealing with that. It's like that type of thing.
So sickness, illness, or disease, okay? But then I have a significant change in your life. You don't want somebody to know something because it's going to cause a drastic change. So the truth is going to ca cause a drastic change in your life or somebody else's life. Now, it could be something that you do or something that somebody has done to you that has caused or will cause a significant change in their life. So it's life changing. Whatever this was that she had going on was life changing for her. And she didn't she didn't want that truth to be known. OK, whatever she was dealing with, she don't want nobody to know. All right, so we got that. Now I'm going to go into these other cards to see what comes out. With that. Too many cars need to be said. Okay, so now I have that. Um Somebody is going from one place to another. So you're moving around. So relocating. Move from one place to another. Moved. Like you move from one house to another. You relocated yourself. Okay. Hidden truths. And a loss. Okay. So it's like somebody went someplace else because they wanted to hide something. Okay. And it's a loss that's going to occur from this. Or that's why they... That's what they're hiding. A loss or the fact that there will be a loss. Somebody is losing something. Somebody had a loss. Okay, so now I have that somebody is going. Now, this just means you traveling from, because I got this. So that means she went somewhere. That's all this means. She went from one place to another. She was from Chicago. She was in the Bahamas. That's all this means. You took yourself from one place to another, but it's to a whole nother place. That's what this means, okay? Now, um, you trying to hide something from your friends, Okay. Because you don't want them to influence your decision. Okay. Because if these, if you talk to these people, they may influence you in some type of way. You don't want them to influence you in no type of way. So that's why you're hiding some things from them. Okay. And then I have the trauma. So the trauma and the loss. Okay. That's what she has. Okay. So it's like here. She's going someplace because she she wants to hide something from people. She doesn't want people to change her mind. She she doesn't want nobody to know what she's doing because we already saw that. She doesn't want anybody to know anything because it's something that's going to be life changing. She doesn't want you to stop her. She doesn't want you to talk her out of it. She doesn't want you to know because you may influence her in some type of way. OK, because she's already have the trauma and the loss.
Okay. So with this victim, you have been victimized. That don't mean that she was a victim of a crime. That means she, somebody hurt her in some type of way. Okay. Then you have the jealousy, envy, and hatred. So that means that's just negative feelings that you're hiding. Okay. And then the fearful with the loss. So like I said, she did this to herself or put herself in the situation for it to happen to her. So it's like you want to do something. She may be afraid to do it, but at the same time, you know, that's what you have to do. I, I can't explain it no other way. Um, Cause you never, you can't go back and ask somebody who unalives themselves why they did it or what was going through their brain at that time. But it's like, maybe she, she felt less than the people that was surrounding her, even though she had all this love to give what she did. But at the same time, she may not have received it in the way that she needed to, in order to take her out of the state mental state that she was in. And she had been dealing with a lot of negative, negative, um experiences surrounding herself and love okay so maybe you feel like i'm unworthy to be loved people um so you give a lot so a lot of people who give a lot of love is because they don't get it okay So we have this, this, and this, okay? So this just means that you are not let. she's not letting, it's like you have your, your mind set. You, you can't let go of the thought. So if I, I'm determined to do something, I'm, it's in my mind, how I'm going to do it, where I'm going to do it, how, what time, what, what, whatever it is, okay? And this is on top of the friends. And like I said, she didn't want them to stop her. This is why she know that they was going to tell her, no, don't do it. Like trying to influence her. No, don't do this. She knew that. That's why she didn't tell anybody. She made everybody feel like everything was okay. But she planned it. So that first card that I, the first four cards that I showed you had deadly encounter or setup from a boyfriend situation or whatever. Like I said, somebody that she had love for, don't necessarily have to be a current boyfriend, but anyway, setting up the trauma, setting it up herself. Like she had already set in her mind. Mm -hmm. So we have this. She needed somebody to come assist her, but she didn't want that. That's why I keep getting that. Because right here, You don't want nobody to intervene. You don't want anybody to intervene with you. So you put yourself in a position to where, because I got some cards that come out that's going to fit in. But here, this devil, this demonic energy, that's that, that depression, all of that negative in her and within her mental state of why she decided to do this, because that's how she feels. Not saying that she feels like a, a, a demon, but a lot of those negative thoughts that she had, okay, because she, she's doing something that's not morally right. To herself.
And that's that negative energy that she couldn't get rid of. And it's like, I don't want anybody to stop me. I, I, it's already in my mind what I'm going to do. Like that was her ship that she was on. That was her ride that she was taking. This is what she was going to do. Now we got the protection here. Like I said, she's doing this. I got third party on the note with the friends. Like I said, now third party is somebody coming in to intervene. You don't want it. You don't want them. To, and the third party is your friends, your people that you care about. You don't want them to come in and intervene. And then I have the weapon here. The setup and the trauma. I don't know what she used. Okay. Anything can be a weapon, but I don't know what she used. But then I have these cards coming out. Okay, so I'm going to clarify these. And then may, maybe it is, looked like somebody did do something to her. But I, I don't think nobody did. Somebody that she had a bond with, somebody from her past, like I said, that was could have been like a narcissistic person that treated her badly, didn't love her right, whatever, could stem from, I don't know, her home situation, her family growing up life could stem from the, her father not being present if he wasn't present. It could have been from a male in her past that treated her badly, but somebody that she had some type of bond would open the door to this to infect her brain, so to cause her to things to settle in her mind to where she thinks like this because I already got the, the, the sickness, illness, or disease. She could have been having a sickness or an illness that she didn't want anybody to find out and that kind of sent it further. Maybe she didn't want to suffer through that as well. So she took a lot. Whatever the situation was, okay. Uh -uh. Now I have the isolated. Now this card came out. This means somebody like doing an internet research, like robbery. Okay, but for this one. She isolated herself. So she was on the internet looking for information. Okay. But it's like to take something. Now, this card came out. Somebody doing something for you. You doing something for somebody else. You sharing something with someone. Okay. So you isolating yourself. You're looking for how to take something as a gift. Okay. As something that to receive. But then I have this coming out. That means this is something that causes or leads to the death of a lot of people worldwide. This is something that's prevalent that happens all the time, okay? That has led to the death of many people, not at once, but whatever. It could be drunk driving, drugs, whatever the situation, domestic violence. But whatever it is, it leads to the death of many people around the world. And then the final card is this, okay? So that's she isolated herself for that. She went there. I know she, they say she goes there all the time. She's, she do, does these retreats all the time. But even though it looks different, this is that's not what it is. It may look like somebody, oh, somebody could have came and she could have been having fun. People are not going to tell you. They don't want you to know because they might be just enjoying their last days. You don't know that. 
they know what they're going to do. So they go into that happy state to where it looks like, oh, everything, because you can find somebody that's always down and all of a sudden they up. And then, then the next thing you know, oh, you know, such and such did this. And it's like, I can't believe it. They were just like they was getting better. They were having fun. And that's just to hide it from the people that's surrounding them, their loved ones, because they don't want that person or them people to know what they have already set up in their mind. And that happiness is them saying, you know what, this is it. And then I know I don't have to worry anymore. So she could have been out having a good time. She might have been doing the things that she liked, but that doesn't mean that she didn't do this to herself. And she didn't want to be stopped. She didn't want y'all, her friends and family to, to know what she was thinking and planning, but this is what I get all around her, her doing this to herself because of the things that she felt inside, how she felt about herself and all of that. So you can leave your comments in the comment section. You can give your own perspective of what you think it means or what you think happened. You know, this is what I'm getting from the card. So everybody has their own opinion. This is all allegedly, you know, nothing that I'm saying is verified. Okay, thank you for watching.